Hey everyone, it's- Oh shoot, I just almost knocked over my monitor and I fell backwards. <laughs> it's glove time! Wildly gesturing is bad for, <laughs> bad for your recording space. Also, real quick, while editing this, I realized that my screencast keys mod didn't work for like the first 10 minutes or so, so... It'll, it'll be back. It'll be back about halfway through. My bad. It might be helpful to disable the visibility of the glove base we made last time so we can somewhat line up the gloves with the arms. My monitor is making a weird creaking noise now. Let's start the handoff with a cube. Move it to where you think the hand goes, typically at the end of the arm, somewhere around here. Before we can do too much shaping, it's probably a good idea to add a subdivision modifier. And I like optimal display off. There's just about a thousand ways to make a hand, but generally I start with the hand shape and then connect the fingers to it. It's a lot easier than it looks. Delete this face, then scale the opening down until it's roughly the same size as the arm. It's not going to line up perfectly since I didn't go with an 8 vertex circle on the arm, but it's fine. It's fine. That's what the hand socks are for. Also retopping, but mostly the hand socks. And we're going to need more geometry to get a decent hand shape, so add a loop cut in here. Let's delete the face where we're going to attach our fingers, and then resize the opening a bit. The positioning of the current editable vertices doesn't really matter. Pay attention to the subdivided geometry underneath as you position. <laughs> Just pay attention to the subdivided geometry underneath as you're positioning things. If you find that you can't get the exact shape that you want, add more geometry with loop cuts. Hands kind of jut out on the thumb side, so this cut here will allow me to get that shape better. And now we need to shape the top and bottom of the hand better, so loop cuts on both. Your fingers attach to your hand in sort of an arc, so I generally try to mimic that with my hand shapes.
pulling this end up will make the palm look more natural, since where the fingers attach is generally a bit thinner. Obviously Sonic's hand proportions are stylized a lot, but you can generally kind of look at your own hand for reference pretty easily. <laughs> or look at pictures of hands. Just a few more minor changes and we can start adding fingers. So the thumb is going to be pretty easy to attach. Select this vertex, hit Ctrl B to initiate a bevel, and then hit V to turn on vertex bevel. Position these new vertices about where the second thumb joint is. Well, the first thumb joint's really close to your wrist, it's like in your wrist, almost. And then it's like the second one, which is right at your hand. That's the one I'm talking about. When it's in place, extrude a face outward and then position the thumb tip. Now just keep making adjustments until it looks good to you. It can be difficult to decide how you want it to look, but that's the greatest thing about Blender. If you don't like it, just keep changing it till you do. Sometimes things take a lot more changes than other things. <laughs> To get the actual thumb shape correct, we'll probably need a loop cut in here.
I think that's looking pretty good. So let's save our project. Don't forget to save your project often. You can't save too much, but you can not save enough. So let's add some fingers. We can start with a cube or a plane or anything really. So let's just add a plane. Get it rotated and in place. I'm just aiming the object origin to be at about the center of where the finger is going. Once the shape is right, extrude out along the x-axis. Add a few loop cuts. Delete this face on the hand side, subdivide and shape the finger. Once it's shaped, I move my cursor to the object origin and change my pivot point to the 3D cursor, which allows me to rotate my finger from the base and get it to where I want pretty easily. And then a little trick I like to use is to duplicate my finished finger, adjust them slightly, position them, and they become the other fingers. Save some time. I accidentally moved my object in edit mode, so the origin shifted. So if I select these four vertices and move my cursor to selected, I can then move my origin to cursor and all is right in the world again. But then I immediately mess up where my origin is, but hey, at least we know how to fix it, you know? Thank you all for watching! My computer can't handle a 30 minute video, so I had to split it into two. The next part will be next week. Love you all, stay safe, goodbye!